this out and said, no matter what your budgets are, it's affordable. We started at the low end of the spectrum around $30, and went as high as $200. They also could be add-ons or variables. You can make it as customization as possible or as expensive as possible, depending on things that you like or don't like in the presentation. You also have the opportunity to add and take away from the presentation. Use what you want, disregard what you don't think you want, and then we can always extend some of these ideas and explain them a little bit more. Basically, how do we war against the big guys? Okay, so make it leave, make it affordable. Basically, we thought regardless of what you do, your business cards are going to be your calling card, your business. Whether you do a presentation or do anything out in the public, you need some way of relating to them where you are, your information, how they can reach you when they want to come to your business or just for general information and purposes. So what we've designed was a smaller, unique size, which is a one by three inch card that can be handed out at all your functions and at your business also. And basically, it has uh, catchy slogans on it that you can choose to customize for your business. And we've got a few here talking about um, great haircut, thanks. Uh, hint, hint, please, where the cat is pushing uh, the Gucci logo, trying to hint to their owner. Basically, it's a, it's basically kind of a, like a, yes, a comedy kind of thing where it gets their attention with the slogan. And from there, you hope to pique interest. And by piquing interest, we hope that they'll you know, hang on to the card. All right, uh, here's another idea we had with um, dog tags. Uh, you know, every, everybody's dog has a tag, but the idea with this is to use it as a way of advertising. And it kind of goes along with the idea of a business card in that you just kind of give them out uh, and people hopefully hold on to them. But we felt like this would be a step above a business card because you know, they're metal and kind of doing them in Gucci colors. Instead of having you know, the dog's name and your own phone number, it says Gucci and the company's phone number. And uh, um, and that kind of goes into our next thing, is this sign. And last time we had hard copy, but these signs are about yay big. This is kind of where we get away from traditional marketing and get into the gorilla side of our campaign. Because everyone has signs that they put out different places. But these are really cheap, and especially if you get a lot of them. And so we're talking about hundreds, even. And not just putting them you know, here and there. We're talking about plastering all of downtown with these signs and just going like above and beyond like what anybody's ever seen as far as like advertising. So it's not like, oh, I saw a Gucci sign here or there. Uh, and this is right on 127 by the business. Or like, see, we've got two within, you know, where you can see it. Not, you know, oh, I saw one of those, you know, a couple blocks away. It's going to be everywhere. Um, yeah, here's just a couple more examples where we're not going to have the place that you can stand within a few hundred yards of Gucci and not see at least a couple of the signs. This is the dog of the month concept. The uh, thinking being that you can type, get some type of conversation in the community amongst your neighbors and people in the neighborhoods to ask and inquire, what's the sign for? To come up to you and ask. Um, it serves the purpose of word of mouth advertising and people egos being involved start wanting to know why is my dog not dog of the month how do we become dog of the month and the explanation is from the person who has the sign at the time is that I shop Gucci so my dog is groomed there and he was awarded dog of the month and basically the awards are that for 30 days you receive a discount from Gucci's and also your pet has its name personalized on the sign and you keep the sign in your yard front for 30 days Okay, this is a oversized dog collar. It's 20 feet long and it's made out of some odd stuff. But the point of this is we're going to stand it up against one of the poles in front of Gucci and just try to grab attention from 
people driving by. And there's another thing we can do where we can have um, a, like a dog leash attached to it and have it like line the like, side of the building into like the doorway so people can This is a concept. It's a, kind of a roadside thing where you see people selling pets sometimes or giving pets away or free kids or whatever. We're hoping to get their attention because you'll have an encased fence area and inside it will be actually pets blended with three costumed individuals that are really uh, out of proportion to the other dogs so that as you're driving by it gets your attention and you're hoping there again people are going to pull in and in curiosity ask you know what's going on and then at that time you can explain your business, pass out brochures and also give them a business card at the time. Okay and back to the costume idea. We're thinking there's two different ideas. There's either the actual dog and then the person in the costume walking each other, and, or it could be the costume and then an actual person walking the person inside the costume. And this is just probably just to grab attention from people driving by or anybody walking. And then as this is going on, um, his idea was to pass out dog treats, either for the owner or for the dog as well. And it could be with the signage for Fuji on it. This is our last kind of radical concept. Our thinking is, how do you get attention to something that sets off the road several feet and to get the point across? Our thinking was, one, we had mannequins lined down, six to seven mannequins with dogs, and we painted the Fuji's color. And then also uh, an extreme addition to that would be to paint or layer the parking lot in the Fuji color and label it also with the name Fuji's, hoping that people there again will drive by and see these people that start out by the road and go all the way to the building just to garnish attention. It's a shock factor, something that says, man, what, or there again, what's going on? What is that place like? The curiosity gets them into the building, and it's somewhat affordable. With the mannequins, you can decide to either dress them or not dress them. They would look cool either way. Uh, the concept, though, is that there's always a, a female with the, with the dog Okay. Uh, so what do you want? <laughs>